All right, trendsetter. Wow, man. I just saw probably the greatest women's match in history no, that no, I've no, witnessed wait, in wait, person. Jeff, wait, wait. Before you get into this whole thing, I saw the greatest match. Yeah, that was I've ever witnessed. Yeah, that was that was something else, Mia. That was uh, amazing. You and Tessa Blanchard here. Uh, we are a battle pro. May the queen reign. What an amazing night, Mia. Man, oh. that was just. How did it feel? to steal the show probably. I still feel dead, Yeah. but uh, first match coming back from injury, back to battle club, so I gotta, gotta make it count, what make it memorable. Oh, you definitely did. <laughs> what, what was the anticipation like? Because not too long ago, you, you were standing in the middle of the ring, you weren't 100%, it was freezing mm -hmm. in this building, uh, and you announced it was gonna happen. How was the build up anticipation for you getting ready for something like this? Obviously, you're getting yourself prepared physically, what about mm -hmm. mentally? Me the mental game was the hardest part. Um, I can go to the gym all day and go to PT, but it's like if I'm mentally not there, then it's going to be hard for me to push myself. Mm -hmm. So I had to literally tell me, like, this injury is either going to make me or break me, and I'll be damned if it break me. Oh, yeah. So um, coming back, I wanted to make sure that I was better than pre-injury. Like, I wanted to really take the time, the four months off, to really build, you know, my character, um, promos, things that I couldn't do physically, and... I noticed that that's what I was lacking before. So I'm just trying to fill in the gaps and it's just coming back. I just want to make, there's some, there was some hype behind my coming yeah, back yeah. and I just wanted to make sure that everybody was satisfied. I didn't want to disappoint anyone and especially I didn't want to disappoint myself. Yeah. Well, if there was any hesitation in you or anything like that or any like, you know, if you any fear, you kind of let it all out <laughs> here today. I mean, that was Which just. Which is why she's so tired. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was like back and forth. You guys went to the outside. You guys <sighs> did some crazy stuff over there. The crowd went home happy, I believe. Good. So uh, Good. talk about, for example, just, uh, just your feelings on just like uh, being able for an all-women show to have the crowd amped up. It, it, let's be honest. It, we've, we've been to most of the Battle Club Pros this year and a little bit last year, and this is as good as it got as far as crowd-wise. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel to leave the crowd here? Like They're still here. They're, they're, they're yeah. still around here looking for some autographs. How does it feel? It's awesome to actually work a couple Battle Club shows before and to be a part of the first ever all-women's Battle Club and for the crowd to be hot from the beginning all the way through the end. Like It was just mind-blowing. Yeah. Like It wasn't just the wrestlers in the ring like it was the fans as well so they they're the ones that give us the energy to keep going as hard as we do um so it was awesome just to like watch half of the show to see the fans infested in it and then even during my match with tessa it was our first ever singles match and i felt like we have such great chemistry and like i've always said just i i may not like tessa as a person but <laughs> damn it do i respect her as a wrestler did you get the so. goosebumps in the, in the ring? You still get them? Did you still get the goosebumps yeah. in there? When, uh, that was yeah. yeah well, <laughs> it had nothing to do with the cold this time. She no, really got the goosebumps uh, from the energy of the crowd yeah. and how into it they were mm -hmm. even before they even touched. That was, mm -hmm. that was the exciting part about mm -hmm. it. You said you know, during the injury you wanted to come back better than you were before. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, obviously, it's the first one uh, here at Battle Club Pro for you. But uh, do you feel like you've lived up to that? Do you think you're better? I, I'm a perfectionist, and I'm very hard on, on myself so I feel like I still have a lot more to go and a lot more to do but I'm happy with what's been happening like just with my first coming back on uh, Wrestlemania weekend and just kind of getting the ball rolling the momentum going um, I'm really enjoying the ride and just busting my ass you so. said you missed it very much was that a huge indication when you first went back in the ring it just felt right again I <laughs> the first match I was literally shaking i was terrified just because it was it wasn't because i was scared that i wasn't going to be able to do it it was just more of the mental like yeah. what if i suck what if i don't remember how to do this what if the fans don't welcome me or they don't care um so it was just all a mental game and then when i first went back in the ring and the crowd was just behind me it was like it it felt right it felt like i belong I mean, you're, you're back into it. It is like the Memorial Day weekend here. So you guys are always traveling. So you're used to mm -hmm. traveling. And, you know, kind of a little bit of the scare was, you know, Memorial Day, are, are people going to come in? And they came in and drove here tonight. Yes. And so my question to you is, like, like now is it you used to the travel. You have to go back home, I, I believe. You got to go back home to uh, did you go back to California. I went to, like, a vacation to vacation, visit my sister yeah. in Oakland a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice little break from just wrestling, just a getaway, just to be with my sister. And then... 
end of June, I'm going to SoCal where uh, more of my family is at, but then I'm also going to wrestle. So it'll be the first time they're going to be seeing me wrestle live. So I'm really Ooh. excited. Like all my uh, excited and nervous too. Very I'm much because yeah. I'm seeing some of my old friends that uh, we all grew up in like the block together and some of them are still there. So they're going to be coming to the show. And it's like, man, yeah. I haven't seen yeah. you guys in like 20 years. This is going to be great. Just to, like finally because in California on the street, we would play wrestling in the yard. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome to see them in the crowd to show them, like, hey, I chipped my tooth taking a real Stone Cold Center, but here I am doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and look where you are now, right? So yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, you know, it was great to see that you're going to be all in. <laughs> and, uh, yes. you know, I, we will be all in, so we're probably going to yes. see you there. Book and before flip. Yeah. But <laughs> Can he get? He'll have a chance soon to, to get booked. We'll yeah, find out. We'll if see if it happens. Yeah. So. Um, so talk about that. Talk about that whole experience and finding out you're going to be there and just you, you, you excited for that crowd uh, for Labor Day weekend. I'm very excited. I the the people that I know is going to be there. Like they're all my friends. Yeah. It's going to be a nice reunion. Um, I'm just going to enjoy the fact that hopefully Flip won't be there. He'll be in the stands. So <laughs> I'll be making sure to. <laughs> Pharaoh gets Pharaoh gets booked before Flip, man. That's that's crazy. But it's gonna be exciting. I'm I'm super excited for that. Is it does the build up for it? Does that feel like a WrestleMania weekend that you were part yes. of in New Orleans? It's like yes. it's a four day. It was experience. sold out in like 30 minutes, and then no, like 29.50. 29.50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got the con from like Thursday, Friday, yeah. Sunday, the show Saturday. So yeah, it definitely feels like another WrestleMania weekend. For WrestleMania weekend compared to this right now, for you as a performer going out there, it, it's, it's got to be exciting, but also it's got to be very emotionally draining too for you, right? When you're in there, so how do you how do you amp yourself up for stuff like that? Because you're going to be up all mm -hmm. night long doing stuff and, and things, you have obligations, and then right. having to focus on performing and right. doing your best. Well, <laughs> everyone that knows me, I'm a old soul. So when I go to a wrestling show or wrestling weekend, like. I'm very business, I'm very professional, I'm not there to party, I'm not there, oh. I don't drink, I don't smoke, so I just, I go do my job, make sure that my job is done well, um, and then I just, I, I'm very big on rest, um, so I always get my sleep, so you'll never see me at a party, you'll never like see me out drinking or whatever, just because I would rather go to my hotel room and sleep to prepare for the next show that I have. Oh yeah, what I meant more is not just that, it's just from the excitement. Oh Except yeah. I gotta go to this show, then I gotta do this, mm -hmm. and then I gotta work with this person and that person. It's gotta be somewhat emotionally draining, like you're excited, but when it's all over, you're mm -hmm. like, ooh, I need a break from this for a little bit. Yeah, I think because I was off for four months, I think I'm just like... You're making I'm, up for lost time? Yeah. yeah <laughs> she's so, ready, she's like, oh, she's bring like, it oh, on. Yeah. She's like, bring it on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I mean, right now, I'm just like, alright, let's go, 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 I'm, I'm ready to work. And final one for me, Mia, because I know, yeah, listen, believe me when I say this, it was the best match in Battle Club Pro history, so she needs to go rest. But final one for me, um, like you said, when you look, what, you're going to be part of All In. Mm -hmm. You're going to be there at the end of that fan experience. Mm -hmm. But how does it feel when you when you look at independent wrestling can do that? You, uh, a 10,000 seat arena mm -hmm. uh, at, at with Cody and the Young Bucks and their entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, does that drive you? Does it, is that something Absolutely. that Absolutely. You know, it, it gives me hope to know that, like, although WWE is my goal, like that's mm -hmm. my number one. It's nice to see that they're. It's not the only place yeah. to go. So something that Cody and the Bucks are doing, yeah. like that could possibly be another top notch. Yeah. Like, so I'm just excited to see the different options because I've done everything that I've wanted mm -hmm. to before. And it's like, what more can I do? Oh, Cody and the Bucks are doing something. I, I get to be a part of that. Like, yeah. I feel honored. So it's nice to just see the other options that are just as good. And what do you have coming up now? So now, like you said, you're back in the grind. Mm -hmm. What else do you have coming up now ahead of you? Tomorrow, I'm wrestling at Beyond versus Keith Lee for his last match. <laughs> wow. That intergender thing is just is, yeah. uh Yeah. So you're going to you Tessa. You retired today. Tessa to, to Keith yeah. Lee. Man. Yep. Oh, man. And then next weekend, I'm going to be at Smash wrestling Matt Riddle. So. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, re yeah no. you're really trying to make up for last time, aren't you? You're really I'm, re I'm reclaiming my time. You're like, you're like bring it on, I'm ready. <laughs> Mia, thank you so much. Thank uh, you, guys. It was great seeing this. Uh, history was made here tonight at Pro Pro, uh, May the Queen Reign. And, you know, just best of luck, continued success. Thank and you. uh, possible May Young Classic too. you never know. You never you know. know. That's what's the funny thing about this business is you <laughs> never know. And how could you not enjoy Mia? Look at that smile. She's so happy. Thank you, Mia, so much. Thank you guys for having me again. Yep. <laughs>